I just got a phone call. I think you guys are gonna like today's video. I really think you guys are gonna like today's video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. No, the boys aren't coming with us. I've been nagging old crossbones, Shannon, for probably about the better part of six months now or ever since he's had that truck. Man, I want to record it. I really want to record it. Let's go for a ride along. Let me know when you're in the area. All that stuff like that. So he calls me up the other day. Hey, how's it going? We sat there and we talked a little bit. I told him again, hey, I want to record your truck. Oh, it's not ready. It's not ready. I kept telling him, most pretty boy trucks are just boring. Working trucks is where it's at. So he calls me up this morning. Hey, I'm going to be going through your town. I'm delivering up north, up in Cherokee. You meet me up, meet me up at Holstein, or make that delivery, then come back and drop you off at your pickup. That's what we're doing. We're gonna go ride in that cab over. that thing a thing of beauty man that truck is just beautiful when we do these kind of things these ride-alongs I rarely get to record the outside of them going down the highway like if you guys remember it's probably been a week ago now that we did that one with farmer Dan and his red Peterbilt this time I had enough of a heads up I was like okay I'm gonna record a little bit before we go up and uh, meet up to do the ride-along Man, am I glad I did. That is just one heck of a nice truck. Both hands. Yeah. 
How do you get in this thing? You can shoot deer out of these windows, man. I'm telling you. Oh. Wow. Good job. Like the Harleys, you can't really individualize them anymore because so many. Well, anytime you get something to where it looks unique, looks not like everybody else's, Harley Davidson puts it out factory. Yep, you're right. So you get an old girl like this, well, like you, your plans for it, you know, the the big pipes, the, I'm assuming a dropper visor, the whole works. Yep. Like me, it'd be it'd, right here, done. Bone stock, man. I think so. Oh, I love, I, I love the cab over bone stock. That. But like I said, each truck can be individualized, and that's what's awesome about this thing. You're, you're way over there. <laughs> like, way, way over there. Yeah, it's. Uh This is what we're doing today, guys. We are riding in Crossbones, well, Shannon's. Uh, what year is this? 96. 1996 Peterbilt. I'll quiz him a little bit more a little bit later on on what he's running for an engine rear end. You guys know all the stuff we always talk about. But this is actually my first time in probably 20, 25 years of actually riding in a, 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 a cab over. It's probably the first time running down the highway in a cab over. I used to run grain around Mapleton there in a cab over, but this is the first time running down the highway. And they always tell you, you're gonna be the first one to the accident on a on a crash. And I, I, I think you're actually right. I think you might be. It's like the jungle gym in school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breathing hard. I actually had to uh, crank landing gear 
and then on top of cranking landing gear I had to climb into the truck I'm telling you man if I had a truck like this I would fall out of it we'd be calling an ambulance we'd be calling the fire trucks to pick me up off the ground Wow if you guys every day is an adventure <laughs> it is if you guys recognize uh, what we're doing here as something like I usually do when we're trucking that's right Shannon here he pulls the same guy that I pull for and uh, we're both owner operators we both just pull for someone else's trailers and that's where we're at we're in Cherokee Iowa we're dropping off a trailer picking up an empty one and then he's gonna go back to the city he's gonna kick me out of his truck back in uh, um, Holstein where I left my pickup that's quite the time getting into these things I almost wouldn't want to get out. I'd just stay in the seat the whole day. quieter this is a cab over we are running straight into a 25 mile an hour headwind right now so it's a little breezy Shannon tell yes, me what's sir. in the truck I got an N14 sent about 430 horse and a straight can transmission what about your wheelbase on this thing 229 between the steer and the center rear the axles yes sir okay all right you just got this thing how long you had this truck? I got it last July and you came out of a 379 Pete. Yeah, I did. And about the first thing I did to it was hook it up to my camper and we took it to Sturgis. How'd that go? A little rough. A little rough. <laughs> but it got a lot of looks. A lot of people dug it. Oh, yeah. They're, of course they're going to dig it, man. Yeah. It's a cab over. Uh, I mean, do you even keep your CB on anymore? I don't even have one. They'd be jibber jabbering the whole time. Yeah, I don't even have one. You'd be busy. All right. We were also talking and. Uh, Jennifer, his mom, watches my channel, even the non-trucking videos, so Jennifer, I thank you, thank you very much. And you can't do this without Jennifer and Tanya, right? Yeah. That's I, mom and that's wife. Yep. Yeah, make sure I you get them both. without either one of them. Isn't that something? That home support is needed, isn't it? It is. It definitely. It's, it's, it's like the trucks. The right one can make you, the wrong one can break you. Exactly. Right on the money. Right on but the money. I, I got a good one. Good. That was awesome. That was flat out awesome. Hmm. Riding in an old cab over like that. I'm betting a lot of you like that. I don't know if I could ever own one of those. They're cool. Don't get me wrong. They are awesome. And that thing rode a lot better than I thought it was going to ride. But I'm pretty sure I'd kill myself if I had one. I'd fall out of it. I've fallen out of my Kenworth before. And that's high up. You fall out of one of those, it's like falling off the roof of the house. It really would be like falling off the roof of the house.
I have two more ride-alongs that I want to do before I get back in the truck and we hit the road in the Kenworth. I don't know if I'm going to get them done or not. I really would like to ride along with um, Roustabout, or not Roustabout. I would really like to ride along with California in that W900. If you've been around the channel a long time, you've seen his truck on this channel. And I would like to run around with um, Waldo. He's my old boss from when I used to run feed. I'd really like to run around with him. I don't know if I'm going to get those done though. We've made it back to town. We are just... I don't think we're going to be able to pick Bud up. I think Mama probably already picked him up. But we're running up here and check though. What is she doing way over there? You pick him up over here, sweetie. Why are you way over there? She makes him walk. Yeah, I'll grab him. Thank you, though. Come on, easy there, killer. What? It's Friday. It's Friday. Finally. <laughs> this week has been so long. It has been a long week. Mm -hmm. How was the hair today? Terrible. Oh, bad hair day? Very bad. Uh, those were rough. I woke up this morning, it was crazy, and I could not get it done. Uh, those were rough. I was rough. late to the bus. Really? Mm hmm Priorities, got, man. Got to school, and it was still bad. So almost all first period I spent in the bathroom trying to make a nice. Oh, oh, no. That's a sad sight. I better get the snow cleared off first class. I gotta get in it and start cleaning things up, making sure she's ready for the road. It won't be long now, guys, if you're wondering. It won't be long. Opie's like, put me on camera, Dad. You haven't put me on camera yet. You're ready for the camera, aren't you, Jaxie? Yeah, you are. You're always ready for the camera. There, Op, you're on camera. Now what? Go get your ball. There you go. Get your ball. Play with your ball. Dorks. Alright, Shannon, thank you very much for letting me record your truck and ride along with you. I'm hoping everything turns out on the video very nicely. It was fun. It was really, really fun. And you have a beautiful truck. No matter what's going through your head, because he thinks it's not pretty and he needs a lot of work to done, get done to it yet. But it's a beautiful truck and I love that truck. Other than that, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, throw a like down there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. You guys stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.